Hey guys, Glenn from the tech team here with another SafeQ video. Now in this video, we're going to focus on how to scan from the new printer, how you can take a document, feed it into the printer, and have it appear right in your email. So let's go take a peek. So here I am outside the girls' middle school lobby printer, and I'm going to show you how to scan a document. So the first step, I already have my document loaded in there. I'm just going to go ahead and tap my ID. It will log me into the printer, and you will see the button to scan right over there in the top left. So I'm just going to go ahead, tap scan, and it will offer me two choices. I can either scan in black and white, or I can scan in color. What's nice about this is it will go right to my email. I'm going to go ahead and choose black and white, and if I was all set and I had my document loaded up, I could just hit the scan button right here. But I'm actually going to show you a couple of the options that you can select. And we can get there just by hitting that little gear icon right in the middle. From here, we can actually choose what type of file we want. There, like you can see it's in a PDF, but I can also flip it to a JPEG. We can set the quality of the scan, although I wouldn't mess with this unless you absolutely have to, because if your quality is too high, you might not be able to scan your entire job. And then you'll see uh, it's in grayscale currently in color because I selected black and white. The only other thing to touch on here is that you'll notice that there's a spot over here on the left for sender. It's best to leave that blank because it'll come right from you, but recipient is what I want to highlight because the recipient section allows me to go ahead and type somebody else's email in and I can actually scan right to them and it will come directly from me. So it's a great way to kind of not have to forward something to somebody else that you, that you receive in your own email. And I can use the on-screen keyboard or I can use the pull-out keyboard. Either one will work fine. When I am all set, I can just go ahead and hit scan. I didn't make any changes, so this will go right into my email account. It'll take my document, and then in just a few short moments, I should have it right over on my screen. And there it is.